Hi everyone, Jos here. And in this video, I will tell you more about the pump system curve. In this video, we have the following subjects for you. And we start with the definition. So what is a system curve? A system curve is a graphical representation that shows you the relationship between the flow rate and the head required by the system. And you can find that system curve line in many pump calculation programs that you can find on the internet. We have a pump curve right here. Here you see the pump curve lines. And this line, this blue line here, that's what we call a system curve. It is very important to know about your system curve and I will tell you why. Because your pump curve and your system curve always work together. And that is because you have to match your pump with your system. Like you see here in this pump curve. This is the line of your system, your system curve. And here you see different pump curve lines. And on the point where your system curve intersects your pump curve, that will be your operating point. And on that point, you know your pump will do this amount of flow and this amount of head. And if you know that, you also know if your pump is running at the desired parameters and also with the desired efficiency. Your system curve consists out of different components. If you want to transfer a medium from A to B, it doesn't do it by itself. You have to overcome a certain resistance. Those resistance components are your static head, your friction losses, also called dynamic head, and your end pressure. I will cover these topics one by one. Let's start with your static head. We have a suction tank A here and a discharge tank B here. You see the medium level differs. We have to move the medium level from tank A to tank B and you have to overcome a certain vertical distance or length. This distance or length is called your static head. If you want to know how to determine your static head in a number of different situations, we made a special video about it and you can find it on our YouTube channel. We put a link to this video below. The next component is about your friction losses. Because if you want to transfer from tank A to tank B, you need pipes for it. And if you are looking at the pipe system, they have a certain length, a certain diameter, they are made of a certain material and you always find fittings in it. And every element has certain friction value. And if you add all those friction values together, you will get your pipe friction. You can also calculate your pipe friction with a software program like this one. And it can be bought or it can be found on the internet. Finally, the last component, end pressure. Sometimes you want a certain pressure at the end of your pipe. For example, if you use a garden hose. This pressure at the end of your pipe is called end pressure. It is very important that you know how to determine your system curve. And if you want to determine your system curve, you have to calculate the three different components. So static head, friction losses, and also your end pressure. For both your static head and your end pressure, it says if your flow is going up, your static head and your end pressure stay the same. So for every amount of flow, your pump has to overcome a certain head. I will draw it in the curve. For example, this can be your static head. If you also have an end pressure in your system, I have to put in another line for your end pressure. But for your friction losses or dynamic head, 
if your flow is going up, your friction is going up. And you don't have to calculate your pipe friction for all the different flow rates. Just take a couple of equal leaps. For example, calculate the friction for this amount of flow, for this amount of flow, for this amount of flow, and so on. And if we connect the dots like this, we created a system curve. And now, we already told you before, we have to match the system curve with a pump curve. So let's draw in a pump curve. And on the point where your system curve intersects your pump curve, and that's on this point, this is your operating point of your pump. So your system curve is intersecting your pump curve. And on this point, your pump is doing this amount of flow and this amount of head. Pro tip! I have a very nice dog in here and I also have a pro tip for you. Make sure that you always check if your operating point is as close as possible to your best efficiency point of your pump. If you not want to learn more about it, we made a special video about the operating range. We will put a link to this video below. Now you know what a system curve is and how to determine the system curve. But the system curve is just a piece of your centrifugal pump sizing puzzle. And if you want to learn more about that pump sizing process, we have a great e-learning course for you, Centrifugal Pump Sizing. And in that course we cover all the pieces that are interesting and needed for selecting a very high efficient pump. And if you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have a comment, just put it below. And also if you have a question. And please don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you in our next video. Bye.